All right, starting. So, <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to talk about um, my final verdicts with Final Fantasy XIV before I reach the actual content of the game, such as like the ratings, me fighting Alexander, so on and so forth. So, um, I must first do a confession with Final Fantasy XIV because I have basically the, the thing that a lot of people basically told me to not do which was skipping the storyline so you can get personality with your character. And I did the exact same opposite and I just skipped every single cutscene that I can possible because all I wanted to do was just race through level 50. Now, the reason why I did this was number one, so I can save time so I can reach the levels easier. And number two, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking sure that they've made like... All of the cutscenes that I can see possible on YouTube from where you first started to where you are now. Uh, I just did a quick research on YouTube. I just did Final Fantasy XIV all cutscenes and it just showed it to me. There's one for Velvet Born, one for Heaven's Guard, and so on and so forth. So, to me personally, I honestly don't care all that much. All I care is like, I just want my dude to like level 50. For a lot of people, that could piss a lot of people off that I did it this way, but again, people are different, they want to play their game differently. And to be completely honest, I am not going to be, um, I mean, I am going to be taking the game semi-seriously, but when it comes to like story or anything like that, it's usually like, uh, whatever. Now, before I actually begin with like the actual content of what I am going to get now with Final Fantasy XIV, I must first... Uh, talk about how I am with um, World of Warcraft. So in World of Warcraft, how it used to be was that you can only reach to up to level 20 and you can only reach up to 1000 gold. In Final Fantasy 14, you can reach up to level 60. I am level 46 right now with my warrior. And you can reach up to, if I'm not lost, 1 million gil or even more. I actually have no idea, but I remembered I've reached over 100k gil. Um, compared to the actual content that you get in World of Warcraft to Final Fantasy XIV, it's like comparing how they are as hot dogs. Now, let me explain. With World of Warcraft, you got this piss poor school hot dog bun the sausage that is that is barely cooked and that's it and they charge you for like 150 whereas with final fantasy 14 you get a chicago style hot dog it's a little bit more expensive but they charge you for like 220 but with um, world of warcraft it's just bun sausage and bun right 150 i'm like for this fuck off Whereas with Final Fantasy XIV, it's like, okay, you got the bun, the sausage, and then you got like the the special uh, mustard and sauce. You got like this Chicago like salad. I don't know how Chicago is. I'm in Malta, not in US, but I'm just imagining it, right? So you got like the Chicago uh, sauce. You got like the onions, and then you got like maybe the pickles, and there you go, and it's two twenty. I'm like, fuck off. All right, I'll take it. And, like, that's how I am with, like, the content in terms of, like, being a free-to-play player. So it just goes to show and no reason why a lot of people, especially for free-to-play players, that they much prefer Final Fantasy XIV than they would with World of Warcraft. And it's not because people hate World of Warcraft. It's because by the time you reach level 20, there's absolutely nothing else to fucking do in World of Warcraft other than mounts. Maybe you can try and do, like, transmog. Maybe you can try and do, like, um... You know, you can try and do five-man dungeon or five-man raid at level 20. But other than that, you're really trying to, like, scrape the bottom of the barrel, in my opinion. Whereas with Final Fantasy XIV, I feel like it could be the exact same thing with World of Warcraft. But at least when you unlock a mount, you feel like you unlocked a mount and you didn't grind for 1,000 gold which you can most likely only do with vendor mounts because all the other mounts are basically locked. There is up to just above 150 mounts in my opinion if I were to work really, really hard in getting all of the mounts, and I mean all of the free-to-play mounts 
that I can get in World of Warcraft. Whereas with Final Fantasy, you get up to like 50, maybe 51 if you really, really want to grind that majestic unicorn look like what the fucker. And that's about it. But comparing with the mounts to you get with the ground mounts in World of Warcraft, with the mounts that you get in World of Warcraft, none of them can fly no matter how many wings they can give you. Because I have got myself the albino drake and this motherfucker hasn't even learned how to fly yet. I need to learn... I need to teach my dragon actually how to fucking fly. Whereas with Final Fantasy XIV, if I'm not too lost, I can get myself what's known as the Ari Man. It's basically like this floating eyeball. Or I can get myself the... I, I heard this mount is pretty fucking hard to get, but once I get it, it's really fucking rewarding. It's called the... the I think it's called... I think it's just called the... The Beheaded. Disembodied head, that was it. I can get myself the disembodied head. And this motherfucker looks like it came out of Dark Souls and it's really fucking cool. So, and not only that, and if I'm not lost, almost all of the mounts of Fantasy XIV, once you reach a certain amount of level, can actually fly. There are some few ground mounts, if I'm not lost, but you can actually get uh, a couple of mounts that can fly. I know the mana cutter for sure can fly. Which is basically like this fantasy like ship. Or you can get yourself like this really cool looking robot. That can fire a beam as a taunt. And if I'm not lost even that mount can even fly as well if I'm not too lost. So it just goes to show like just how much variety there is with like Final Fantasy XIV to World of Warcraft. And I'm also saying this not just because uh, the whole meme that WoW is dying because there's no more content until patch 9.1 up until people say waiting on 9.2 as the fucking like guild name. <laughs> like how they did with waiting on Rav when Classic came out. Um, it's also like the variety that you are trying to get comparing the two. With World of Warcraft, you just reached level 20 and you basically beat the game. Now on to, be now on to finding mounts. I got myself, like, I can reach 100 mounts pretty easily. And for me to reach 150 to get myself the, what's it called, the Serpent Kai Jade mount. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of stress. But eventually I can get that mount if I, w if I feel like it. With Final Fantasy XIV, I feel like you are more encouraged to get yourself the mount because you feel like, especially if your brain is completely AFK and you have YouTube on one side and you have uh, YouTube or Twitch or Discord or whatever the fuck, right? And you have Final Fantasy XIV on the other side, right? And in my opinion, I feel like once you obtain an actual mount in Fantasy XIV, to my, uh, I, I remembered when I got myself the, the Chocobo mount, which isn't really a mount, it's just a starter mount up until you reach the actual content. And yeah, sure, there is the Unicorn mount, but that's also at level 30. Um, I managed to get myself the Chocobo mount at around level 30, even though that could have been at level 20. I just didn't knew that I had to reach all the way to level 20 and I managed to reach the 30 because my brain was shut down. So um, that was another confession I had to make. Um, so two confessions. One major one, which I just skipped the game completely so I can raise to basically level 50, I'm level 46. And the other one, uh, I managed to reach level 30 when I could have gotten the Chocobo Mount at level 20. So what am I gonna do now? Um, obviously going to try and reach level 30. Uh, excuse me, level 50. And once I reach level 50, I can start doing like all the content that the game has to offer for me. So I got the Ishkard quest. Uh, I still need to do the final hunting logs for my warrior. It's no longer uh, Sire and my Marauder. It's um, Kingslayer Hrothgar, what the fuck is called? The Lion Boy. Um... I got achievements to unlock so I can get myself, especially the Ari Man. I really like the Ari Man. Especially for the future character that I'm going to be getting. Ironically, her name is also Ari. <laughs> Not League of Legends, but it's a different Ari. I'll explain maybe in another video. 
And once I get myself the Iron Man, then I can finally go and make my, my new character. There's just a lot of, basically put, there's a lot of more content that I can do. Whereas with World of Warcraft, it's more like 1,000 gold, buy a mount, 1,000 gold, buy a mount, 1,000 gold, buy a mount. And you just keep doing that until you reach like 1,000, like, oh, what, uh, 150 mounts. Apologies if I'm not up to processing because I got myself a lot of brain farts and... This is like my second take or some shit, but who cares? Um, in terms of like what else I want to say, other than repeating myself, I think I've gotten everything I wanted to put out. I've been on Final Fantasy fourteen for twelve days, and I've been on World of Warcraft for about three weeks. The first two weeks that I got in was I just wanted to get myself the high mountain throwing so I can really start popping off. Even if I was level 20, I'd still be happy because I got myself an allied race. But you can't even get that because even if you do manage to somehow get the achievement, you are still locked into trying to be level 55 when the max level you can get is level 20. Not looking too good, well, not looking too good. If they just made it so that way, WoW can give you a lot more freedom and a lot more experience and taste in WoW, I am 110% guaranteed that we would have a challenge uh, between WoW and Final Fantasy XIV. It's just that it's no wonder why Final Fantasy XIV, even in free-to-play mode, is winning a lot more than WoW. It's just that with WoW, you only get yourself the crust of the fucking pizza, but at least in Final Fantasy XIV, they give you like half the pizza for fucking free. Now, what do you prefer, the crust? And there isn't even like the cheesy crust? Or do you prefer half a pizza? Even if the pizza is pretty scuffed. You still want to go for half a pizza because it's a fucking pizza. Anyways, that's my take. I'm probably just going to reach level 50, get my Ishgard uh, Machinist, have myself a blast, and I can finally slow down. I can finally watch all the cutscenes that I've missed. Uh, because I really wanted to make this video, it's just that I'm like, nervous, having brain farts and all that shit. This is all in one take, so I don't plan to be making like... Other takes up until I want to make like an update video on how I feel about FF14. And uh, yeah, that's about it. One more question, I guess. Am I quitting WoW free to play? More or less likely, uh, yes and no. Yes, because there's really nothing else to do other than collecting mounts. But no, because I just feel like playing WoW. If I don't feel like playing Hearthstone because Hearthstone itself can piss me off. But other than that, I do plan to come back to WoW. It's just that I'm having a lot of fun with FF14, especially in, in free-to-play mode and how restricted WoW is in, in their free-to-play version. And that's basically it. Now all I need to do is just wait for Athengold and have his reaction about what he thinks about FF14. So, oh, and the two-month video um, that I keep making kind of died, but I'm hoping, ah, oh, fuck, I'll do whatever I want. If it's too, if I make another video in two months, who gives a fuck? So that's about it. Yeah, 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 that's about it. <laughs> I tried to like process if I want to bring out anything else, but no. I, I guess the meme right now is that I still put it at like near 15 minutes so I need to try and like cut them down and make it more professional but as it is I'm still happy about it so that's my take on my update of FF14 for now and I'll see you whenever. See ya.